in this series of tutorials, we'll be projection mapping a house. Whether it's your aim to create digital decorations for Halloween, or you want to design Christmas video mapping and other holiday projections, this series of tutorials will give you a beginner's knowledge of how to get started 3D projection mapping a house or building. How do you do projection mapping on a house? This is the last tutorial in the series where we will be mapping our video content onto the house using After Effects. I highly recommend you take a look at the earlier tutorials where we created a guide image of the house, designed animations from free footage, and then prepared our video content for the projection mapping process. By the end of this video, you will have learned how to set things up so that it will only take you 10 minutes to map your house or building from any projector position. You also don't need to project from the point of view of the audience. You can even project using multiple projectors without multiplying your workload. I've included a link in the description to all the kit I'm using, including the make and model of the projector. I'll be using Adobe After Effects, which is subscription software that you can purchase on a monthly plan. In terms of preparation, you might want to do a few things. If you have blinds or curtains in the windows, be sure to close them. As an optional extra, you might want to put white paper in the windows to catch the projections. You should remove any plants or tie back any trees between the house and the projector because they will cast shadows on the house. Set up a table for your projector to stand on. Make sure it's sturdy because any wobbles of the table will make your projections shake on the house. You can calculate how far away the projector needs to be to cast an image over the whole house using the throw ratio of the projector's lens. I've included a link in the description to a handy calculator you can use. But I'm going to use guesswork to place my table at first and then move the projector nearer or further away as needed later on. You will almost certainly need an extension lead. I'm using a 25 meter reel. The following steps need to be done once it has got fairly dark. Plug the projector into power, connect it to your laptop and turn it on. Now your projector is casting an image, you can see whether it's covering the whole house. Move it further back if you need it to throw a bigger image. You want the projector image to be a little bit larger than the house. Focus the lens so that it produces a crisp image on the house. Make sure your projector is set up as a secondary external display and is not mirroring your screen. Now I'm sat outside with my projector on in front of the house, I've opened up my mapping setup scene. The first thing I need to do is set my projector as my output display from After Effects. To do this, I come up to After Effects, Preferences, Video Preview. I need to enable Mercury Transit and check my projector as the chosen display. Mine is already set to my projector. I know this Adobe Monitor 2 is my projector because of this 1920 by 1080 resolution specified which I know is the resolution of my full HD projector. It's easier if I deal with these layers one at a time, so I'll turn off the visibility of all but one. Then I'll select it and add the corner pin effect by double clicking on the effect. The idea is to pull these corner handles and map the image onto the house. You are trying to match the house image on top of the physical features. That way, you know your animation content is going to match up with the house. This isn't easy sometimes, especially with these dark roof tiles, and it's even harder to see on camera at a distance. I'm picking some details and trying to match them up, like the position of the chimney, for example. Later on, the windows will be the main features I'll focus on matching up. Don't pay too much attention to the dormer windows, which obviously look a bit strange. That's to be expected because the roof is at an angle in relation to the front of the house. We want to mask them out. If you go ahead and make a mask with things as they are, I'll just create something rough, you're going to get some strange results. This is because the mask is also subject to the corner pin effect. So once we're happy with our corner pinning, we can now pre-compose this layer so that the corner pinnings get nested inside. 
It's important that you move all attributes into a new composition for this to happen. Now you can click the areas you want to mask out. Set the mask to subtract. Then pull around the points of the mask and eyeball it on the house so that unwanted bits of content are no longer visible. Now I'll follow the same process for the other layers. Now I'm happy with the way the image of the house is matching up with the actual house, I'd consider the mapping side of things finished. I don't need the house image anymore, so I'll head into my video content comp and turn off the visibility of the house image to reveal our animation underneath. Heading back into the mapping setup comp, it's now our animation that we see, subject to all the same mapping we just set up. You can preview it at this point. My machine isn't fast enough to play it back real time, which is why it's choppy. It's worth emphasizing, any media you put in the video content comp will come through into our mapping comp, so it doesn't have to be one animation. You can sequence several videos in here and transition between them, add audio, whatever you want to design for your show. It all takes place in here. Once you're happy with your mapping and with the video content you're piping into your setup, you need to render out your mapping composition. This means we're going to save out this scene and essentially bake our mapping into the video file. That way we can play our video file from a little external media player connected to our projector and it will look correct on the house without the need for After Effects or even for the laptop at all. From this point on, one thing is very important. The projector must not move. If the projector does move, you will have to go back into After Effects and adjust your corner pinning again. That won't take very long to do, but still, it would be annoying since you got it looking good. So I'll render the mapping setup comp by going to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. I want best settings and I'll export to a PNG sequence, which is a lossless format, meaning we won't lose any quality. This will be my master file. Then I'll convert the PNG sequence to whatever format is appropriate for the media player. It will say which formats it accepts in its manual. Mine likes MP4s encoded with H.264, so that's what I'll convert to. Then I'll copy my animation to a USB, then plug that USB into the back of my media player and connect the media player to power. If you want to have audio with your show, the media player will likely come with cables which you can run out of the media player into a speaker or an FM transmitter. I'm unplugging the HDMI from my laptop and transferring it to the media player, so now the media player is connected to the projector. I don't need my laptop anymore. Now I'm setting up the media player on the projector using the remote. I can just about see the menu on the house. If you find it tricky to see, hold out a piece of paper or cardboard in front of the projector to see the menu more easily. I'm telling the media player I want to see a movie and selecting the USB as the input device and choosing my video file. Don't forget to set the media player to loop continuously if that's what you want it to do. I should really have tied this tree back. 
At this point, you can leave your projector in place or stay with it if you are concerned about security. For the more DIY-minded people, you could create secure, weatherproof housing for your projector. So now I hope you feel like you've got a solid beginner's knowledge of how to projection map a house. I've aimed to cover just the foundational principles so that you can now advance your skills in After Effects and create more elaborate, unique animations of your own. If there are any other house projection mapping tutorials you'd like me to make, let me know in the comments down below. If this video helped you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel where you'll find other projection mapping tutorials and videos.